Hello booktube! This is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Books I'm Not Reading. It's Tag Tuesday. So I am here to do the anti-TBR tag, which was quite popular for a while. Um, and uh, so I'm a little late getting to it, but I, I like to have different tags, mix it up a little bit. Uh, so uh, this tag was created by Nicole and her books. And I watched um, Jen at Remembered Reads do this tag. So I will link to their videos down below. Before we get into the questions, some of you have been asking about my, 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 my and my husband's home library. So I just wanted to give you a little peek there. <laughs> there's another bookcase there, there's one there, and there's two more right there. So, um, all right. So let's get into the questions now. Question one, a popular book everyone loves that you have no interest in reading. Uh, there's a lot of hyped books that I just, I don't know, the hype kind of maybe drives me away sometimes. So I have not read Eat, Pray, Love uh, by Elizabeth Gilbert. Now Jason actually has read this book. Um, and he said he loved the eat section and he loved the pray section, but he, or liked the pray section, but he hated the love part of it. Um, so anyway, maybe it was because he just really, really did not like the book. Um, I, I feel bad. I, I, I think I've, I've, I feel like I just saw it on somebody's TBR. <laughs> So anyway, uh, that's a book that seems extremely popular and I haven't read it. I don't have any pl any plans to read it. Um, question number two, a classic book or an author that you don't have an interest in reading? <laughs> well, for those of you who've been watching my channel for a very long time, you know, I kind of have a really complicated relationship with George Eliot. And so, yes, that's, I'm, I'm just gonna say George Eliot and we're just gonna let it go. Just gonna let it go. Okay, uh, question number three, a problematic author whose books you have no interest in reading. Um, so I, I kind of have a problem with this question. I mean, it's, it's up to me to decide what's problematic and what's not. Um, I think it's fine for people to say they feel something is a problematic book, um, but it may not be problematic for me or I just maybe can identify what's problematic about it and still get something out of the book. Um, I was recently talking to another booktuber about Margaret Mitchell's Gone with the Wind. Um, I really love this book uh, and I was so sad that this uh, fellow booktuber uh, said that, uh, you know, essentially that it was problematic. Um, so it may be, it's been a while since I've read it and I certainly wasn't thinking about problematic authors when I read it, so um, yeah, I, I I have to read it again, obviously, but uh, I, th I think it's a masterpiece. I think it's amazing, an amazing book. Um, and I know when I finally read it, I was just sad that it had taken me so long to get to it, so. All right, um, question number four, an author you have read a couple of books from and have decided their books are not for you. So I used to work for Barnes and Noble and I did a lot of stuff with schools and libraries and I hence read a ton of YA and middle grade books during that period of my life. And speaking of hype, I read all four of Stephanie Meyer's uh, Twilight books. <sighs> yeah, I wish, I wish I hadn't. <laughs> but anyway, I think it's safe to say that Stephanie, Stephanie Meyer and I, we are, um, we're done. <laughs> it's, it's over. <laughs> so uh, question number five, a genre you have no interest in or genre um, that you tried to get into and couldn't. So I'm going to say like science fiction and fantasy. I mean, I've read Lord of the Rings. 
care about The Hobbit, which I I struggle to understand why that is. Um, I don't know, like such a beloved classic book. I I read it as an adult. I didn't read it as a kid, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But there are books um, like. Ursula Le Guin, The Left Hand of Darkness. I'd really like to read this. I just haven't done it. So it's not that I'm against all science fiction and fantasy, but it's just like probably an area of my reading scope that I, I don't get into very, very often. Question number six, a book that you have bought but will never read, and this also could be a book you uh, You've unhauled or returned to the library unread. I've tried really, really hard <laughs> for a long time to not buy books that I don't think I'm ever going to read. It does happen once in a while. I think reading tastes especially change over time. We've kind of talked about that before in this channel. But I decided to go with a book that Jason bought that I'm pretty sure, I feel pretty, pretty confident, I am never going to read, and that is The Dinosaur Lords. What on earth? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> um, yeah, so it says it's a combination between, uh, a cross between uh, Jurassic Park and Game of Thrones, which is also Game of Thrones, like, no, I'm, I'm not going to read those books, but yeah. The Dinosaur Lords. I can't even believe this book exists, actually. <laughs> if any of you have read this, I would love to hear, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, but I have no intention of reading The Dinosaur Lords. All right, let's see. Uh, question number seven. A series you have no interest in reading or a series you started and have DNF? So, again, going back to my time at Barnes & Noble, one of the um, areas of the bookstore that I wasn't terribly familiar with was the mystery section. And I would always tell people like, oh, my grandmother loves this book, or my mother really loves this author. And that's not a great way to sell a book. It's much more powerful if you can say, I read this, I loved it, I think you'd really like it based on other things you've told me about other other authors you like so I really devoted a lot of time to trying out different authors in the mystery section and one of those was Nevada Bar I read Track of the Cat which is like the first in a series of oh and I can't remember the character's name but she works in, in the national park system and Track of the Cat. I mean, I did finish it, but it was a terrible, <laughs> for me, it was a terrible book and I will never, ever read any more Nevada Bar <laughs> we're, we're done. <laughs> so, okay, uh, question number eight. A new release you have no interest in, uh, um, interest in reading. So, this is a really difficult question. I actually pay attention to what a lot of other booktubers are saying about new releases because I tend to be focused on all of this. So uh, yeah, I, I, I watch other booktube channels and see what they have to say about new releases and you know, think about it, I guess. I, I, can't, I can't rule out any particular new release because um, and I apologize, I, I know I've said this a lot on my channel, but there are some new, new faces, so I want to make sure you know. Uh, I, every year I read the book that has won the Pulitzer Prize for fiction. Uh, so, yeah, I can't rule out any new release because I will read whatever it is. Whatever, whatever, whatever it is. Um, I have read all of the books that have won the Pulitzer Prize for fiction. And uh, yeah, so I, I mean, I just, I just have to accept whatever, whatever they choose and go from there. And so yeah, I like to keep things open. I like to keep my options big. Um, a ton of people have done this tag, so if you would like to do this tag, please feel free to consider yourself tagged. If you don't have a channel but you have um, some great answers to these questions, 
please, please feel free to let me know down in the comments section what's, what's your anti-TBR. Um, it's so great to talk to you, BookTube. Remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll talk to you really soon. Take care. Bye.